Good evening and welcome to Alcor. Welcome to the Al Bayt Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And we have a very intriguing match to bring you this World Cup round of 16 tie. It's Croatia versus Germany. Absolutely, this should be a good game. I think both sides deserve to be here, but whichever team plays to their full potential should make it into the quarterfinals. It's going to be a good game. And the starting 11 for Croatia. Luka Modric plays alongside Mateo Kovacic in central midfield. And leading the line today is Andrej Kramaric. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer begins in goal. Niklas Zule starts with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. Serge Gnabry starts with Leroy Zane in the wide areas. And Niklas Füllkrug is up front. Andrej. Can he give them the lead? Oh, good work by the keeper. Played over. Well, really stout defending there. Off the line. Kovacic. Options in the middle. Will he find the net? Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Luka Modric with the corner. And just over the bar. Well, he attacked it so well, but he just couldn't get above it, could he? And a blunder by the keeper. Oh, a goal! They've taken full advantage of a dreadful mistake by the goalkeeper. Well, let's take another look, and it certainly doesn't improve, does it? The less said about that, the better. It's a poor mistake. Good, sir. Wonderful chance. Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. Defenders need to cover. And the verdict of the referee is penalty. She's pointed to the spot. Now can they square the game? Chance to even things up here. And he puts it away confidently. Well, let's look at this again, and it's always a risky penalty. When it comes off, it looks great. If it's saved, you look foolish. On this occasion, it's a great penalty. Vlasic. It's a good-looking ball in behind. Kovacic! And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front! Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And it's a great finish. He holds off the defender, keeps his composure and finds the back of the net. It's a marvellous goal. Serge Gnabry. Promising move from Germany. And he takes it on. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Delivering it. Oh, late drama here! All level again! Incredible scenes! Oh. 
Well, here it is again. It's a well-delivered ball into the box, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes, but this is not over, and two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. Can he find the right pass? Well, a powerful effort, but just wide. Well, very effective play in possession. Real chance! Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. Look at Modric. Modric! Keeper getting the touch. Well, really calm, composed goalkeeping there. It always had the potential to go the distance, and it has, so a penalty shootout is next. He had to score, and he does. Composure is so important under these trying circumstances. And he scores! and confidently converted. Mental preparation is such a big part of this. Oh, a superb save. And it's gone in. His turn to try to convert from the spot. Oh, he saved it. Well, this could be the one. And the keeper makes the all-important save. What a big moment. You want a pressure cooker, this is it. He must score. Superbly done. How many players would try that? Well, it's quite straightforward. Score, and it's over. It's the perfect penalty under the circumstances, and they will progress. And I think they just about deserved it, Derek. But I have to say, that was a very good finish under immense pressure. Well, here it is again, and just watch the keeper. He stands still, hoping it's hit down the middle. Unfortunately for him, he's got it wrong. 